Hi, this is Steven and welcome to Improvisation Corner. I think you're going to like the format of this video if you're interested in any kind of jazz soloing. Basically what I'm going to do is sit down and improvise both the melody and an improvised solo on my song called When Summer's Gone. This song actually happens to carry the same chord changes as Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves is typically found in real books in the key of either G minor or key of E minor. This one that I'm going to play is actually transposed down from G minor to F minor. And so if you can kind of pull out different aspects of it and just say, hey, I like that spot, feel free to ask me what's going through my mind. Do I have a certain um, way of thinking in terms of how did that improvisation come out of you at that time? So have some fun with it. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. You're going to hear um, the bass and drums playing along with me. Really good drummer named Kyle Burnham playing along. And then the bass is a synth that I played in a lot earlier for the tune. So here we go. We're going to play. The first stuff you'll hear is an F minor, kind of a modal approach. And it is indeed in 5-4, time signature 5-4. And then the tune itself will change to 4-4 four, four when we get to the head.
decent solo. Kept it kind of simple, but uh, there's some things in there that you might want to talk about. Um, pretty cool song called When Summer's Gone. It's a little play off of Autumn Leaves. Wow, Autumn Leaves, When Summer's Gone. And by the way, if you don't know what a contrafact is, it's when you take a chord progression of another song and then put your own melody to it. And the cool thing about contrafacts is that it's completely legal. So in other words, the copyright holders of Autumn Leaves you can't copyright a chord progression. I can't either. So you can feel free to steal my chord progression. Of course, I'm stealing it from Autumn Leaves. Autumn Leaves might be stealing it from somebody else, but it's really impossible to copyright a chord progression because there's so many of them, and also there's a finite amount of them, so you just can't keep getting creative and creative and creative. Otherwise, like one person would be making all the money. What you can copyright is melody, and you can copy copyright lyrics. So for instance, in my chart, my lyrics and my melody are copyrighted. And um, so no one can steal those. I get paid anytime somebody uses those, but um, you can take the chord progression. So pretty cool fact, if you didn't know that before, it's what a con contrafact is. And it's what a lot of historical jazz players did is they basically would write a new melody or a new melody and lyric on top of an older song and knowing that that song would kind of maybe be in the humans, the, the humans, the, the, uh, <laughs> the uh, society's brain a little bit and, and it's already a known good chord progression, so why not use it again? You can do things like that in music and learn off of other people. So we'll see you over at my Patreon and hope to see you again soon.